It's hatching day! I'm gonna try to take it step by step, as detailed as possible, all the way from picking your eggs and marking your eggs, all the way to the pipping and the hatching. How you doing folks? Chad here. Welcome to another episode, Chronicles of a Farm Stay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. I'm in my laundry room. I cleaned it up all nice and neat. Because guess what guys? It's hatching day. Check it out. I got my candler. Woo! And I got my brin seed. It's a brin seed. It does 14 eggs. This is an automatic turner. The disc turns and the eggs roll. So I don't have to worry about turning the eggs. If you like this video, guys, and you like what we're doing here at the Hidden Spring Farm, don't forget to click that subscribe for us, please, would you? And like the video if you like it. Appreciate it so much. Enjoy the show. This is a Brinzi Maxi 2 Advance. That's the model number. Look at this, guys. I'll be able to see all the action as it's happening in real time. I'm just figuring out, guys, how to adjust the day countdown. So basically, I'm trying to set it to 21. And the mode is automatic. That's the turning mode. Turn intermission, intermittent, every 45 minutes. Is that good? Okay, now it's saving. Right now it's 25.8 degrees. Oh, 25.9. It's going up pretty quickly. To hatch chickens, it's 21 days incubation period. I have no idea absolutely if these are fertilized. I've seen the birds doing their business, getting it on, but uh, I really don't know. That's what the candling's for, right? After seven days, you candle it for the first time and then you see if there's veins and there's a certain way you got to candle it. And we'll get into that. I'm going to show you step by step as we go. I got these beautiful eggs, guys. Beautiful eggs. And these are all Rhode Island red eggs. I've had the Rhode Island red rooster in with the eight hens for weeks now. Oh, what's so cool about chickens? Can you imagine a chicken pumps this out every day? Quite incredible. And you know, chickens have these sperm sacs inside there. I guess it's the, the uterus area. So that's why you need to keep the non bread rooster away from your hens. If you want purebreds, you need that purebred rooster only with those purebred hens for like weeks. That way you make sure that all the sperm that's left over in those sacs inside the uterus of the hen, it's gone and only the purebred rooster sperm is in there. So we'll see how that goes. Who knew that I would be using science in hatching chicken eggs? <laughs> You gotta make sure you get these eggs before they get frozen, guys. Once you get the eggs, you let them sit for a day at least. You don't just get the egg and put it in the incubator. You let it sit. So I got a few eggs every day going back a week. And my latest egg is two days ago. You wanna mark your eggs, guys. You wanna mark your eggs. I'm using a wax pencil it's like a china marker you know like a grease pencil like a waxy pencil and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark an X on one side and an O on the other side now this incubator that I have turns the eggs automatically but I want to be sure that it's actually rolling the egg the way it's supposed to be so I feel like it's a good habit to get into. If you get an egg, put it in the incubator, and then tomorrow you get a few more eggs, and then you put it in the incubator, and then I feel like if you do it like that, you're, you're gonna have hatchings over the course of a week. 
That's not very efficient use of your incubator. I want to incubate my eggs, hatch the chicks, get them out of there into the brooder. Whoa, did you hear that? That was Pooper the parrot. Wow. Sorry about that, guys. He's a little annoying. There's a lot of different opinions out there as to whether or not you should wash your eggs or somehow sterilize them before you put them in the incubator. I'm not doing that, just for the record. Like, take a look at this egg. It's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. So, when a chicken shoots out an egg, naturally, sits on it naturally, hatches a chick naturally, who's sterilizing it? So I kind of feel like, you know, we're helping nature by incubating, trying to get a higher hatch rate, but really, they incubate under the hen staying warm. The hens miraculously know how to turn the egg. The hen gets off the eggs to go get water and go get food and then goes back and sit down. So there's always a cooling period. They must be cooling down a little bit. So I figure like life finds a way. Nature is pretty well equipped. I feel like a lot of people are worried about humidity when they use incubators. But just in case, I got these little tiny, I don't even know what they're called, hygrometers. Little tiny little things. See that? This is reading 40% right now, but I'm going to put it in there while I'm waiting for the incubator to warm up. And it'll give me a reading so that I'll know how much water to add. So I can see inside that hygrometer, it's reading 24. That's way too low. Chickens and ducks need like in between 40 and 50% humidity. Let's see how that reads in a few minutes. Okay, the temperature is 37.5 and the hygrometer is pretty close to 40%. It'll keep going up. I think we're good now to get this going. So you can see the water in there, guys. See, look, I just took the lid off. Look, this went down to 35. That was at 40. This is where you add the water so that you don't have to keep taking the lid off. So let's summarize guys, you got to get your eggs, you got to collect them, eggs that you presume are fertilized, then you got to get your hatcher going, your incubator needs to be at the right temperature. I don't think you need to sterilize or wash the eggs, I think that's kind of, you know, overdoing it. And of course you don't take dirty eggs, you know, like if there's a bunch of poop on the egg or a bunch of muck or mud. You just don't use that egg. You fry that egg for breakfast, you know. Make sure your temperature is right in the incubator. Make sure the humidity is right in your incubator. Mark your eggs. That way you know that they're being turned. The chicken eggs take 21 days, so the countdown begins today. The way it's going to work is I'm going to candle these eggs after about a week. See how we're doing. If there's a bunch of them that don't have veins and you can't see a fetus growing then you just take them out there's nothing you can do about that i think you always want to put your incubator in a controlled setting this is my laundry room so it's a controlled setting it's already like you know 18 19 degrees in here so it's easy for the incubator to maintain that you know that 37 and a half temperature if you try to do this outside in the cold where it dips to cold overnight, it's not gonna work. The machine won't be able to keep up, right? You just figure it's a little tiny fan in there. Okay, I'll see you in a week.
Hi guys, I'm back and it's seven days. So, this is awesome. Ah, you know what seven days means, guys? Candling the eggs for the first time is going to tell us which ones are fertile, which should turn into a chick, and which ones are non-fertile, which we need to remove from the incubator because they're just going to get too hot and pop. We don't want them to explode and they'll ruin all the other eggs. You know what I'm saying? So you can see we got two incubators going here, guys. This one is on day 15 and this one's on day 18. You can see there, day 18. It helps keep the humidity nice and stable. Okay, let's take a look. This one's got something in there. You see the veining, guys? Look at the veins. You see the veins? So I'm going to keep that guy in there. This one's got something too. You see the little the little black dot inside there? That's like the little fetus. See? Like right around here you can see. That's awesome. Do you see it moving around in there guys? This one's a dud, guys. Look, there's nothing in there. See that? Let's get this back on. So just to recap, guys, out of the 14 eggs, four of them were not fertile. So I removed them out of the incubator. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. We have ten left. Checking these, keep checking the humidity. I have to add water every day. The automatic turners are working great. It's like every 45 minutes it turns it a little bit. You'll hear the little beep go and it goes beep and then it turns. It's so awesome. There's a lockdown day where you got to take out the turning tray. That's like 20 at probably like 18, 18th or 19th day, I think a couple days getting closer to hatching. So that's good, that's exciting. Stay tuned for the next check-in. I got some trouble in my laundry room with all these animals I got stashed in here. Kirby, that's my dead cat. Don't play with the dead cat. Okay, it's a bloody zoo in here. But that's not the real reason for this update. So when I look at these incubator, we're on day eight. And I think this evening it's gonna be day seven. So there's gonna be a basically a week left. I thought we'd pop this cover off and do a candling to see how these 10 remaining eggs are progressing. Pretty exciting. We're at 44% humidity in there, which is perfect. I basically add water every day. So I'm in here in the dark and I got my candler going and I'm just gonna go methodically around each egg and I'll try to show you. Ooh, the eggs are so warm, so warm. It looks like there's the, the embryo in there seems to be moving wow look at the veining on this one guys you see the veining there it is see the little black thing but some of these 
Some of these embryos look awfully small. Like you would think, how is it going to turn into a chick in seven more days? See it moving in there, guys? So far, so good. All these eggs look like the embryo's growing pretty good. Our Rhode Island Reds right now are really laying a good amount of eggs every day. So as soon as these are hatching, I'm going to take them out, clean her up, and get another group of eggs in there right away. Don't forget, guys, like I said earlier, it takes 21 days to hatch chicken eggs. Mind you, it's nature. So, of course, there's some that start creeping out prematurely and some that may be a little bit late so it might be anywhere in between 19 and 23 days that's what I figure and uh, most of these eggs in here they're looking like there's something growing in there you can you can see the little things squiggling around in there so that's pretty amazing hey guys guess what it's only three days left and these guys are gonna hatch so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this sucker up I'm going to do a candling for the last time and then I'm going to remove the turner because you don't want to be turning the eggs on the last few days. They call it the lockdown period. So we got to get these eggs in lockdown. It's a big air pocket on the front. You see that? That's nice. This guy's alive and well. I'm just going around the circle here on my incubator. We'll see. I only got a few. Look at that. Big air pocket. Ooh, this one's really moving. Don't forget, in the last update, remember after the seven day mark, we had four eggs that were not fertilized. So we're down to ten eggs. This one has a big black blotch in there. Does that mean... It's no good. No, it's moving. It's moving. He's good. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm just taking off all the eggs. And then I'm going to remove the automatic turner tray. This comes off because you don't want to be turning your eggs in the last few days. We gotta set them up for the lockdown period. This this brinzy comes with a little recyclable piece of cardboard. If you run out, you can just make your own cardboard, of course. Now what we're waiting on guys is the next few days hopefully we see some pipping. Pipping is when the chicks start to break out of the shell. Sometimes they need some help but for the most part you want to leave them alone and so that they can do it for themselves. So hopefully I'll be able to see these little chickies breaking out of their shells. <laughs> Guys, check it out. These chicks have hatched. 
Take it easy, fellas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. There's one in here that's trying to hatch. This one's trying to hatch. And this one's trying to hatch. So there's still three more to hatch. This one, it's not hatching at all. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> oh my god, they're so small. <laughs> So soft and fluffy. I don't want them to jump off my hands, but these guys are so soft. It's crazy. I can't stop smiling right now. We actually brought life into this world. Hey bud. What do you think people? Do they look like Rhode Island red chicks? Molly, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you being good to the chicks? Huh, how about you, Smokey? Stormy, are you guys going to bed? So guys, looks like we got six that pipped and hatched by themselves. Six healthy Rhode Island red chicks. They're all looking good. And there's three eggs in here that are trying to pip look at the shells guys try to get a good look at that you see this like membrane all that stuff is what helped those chicks to develop inside these eggs isn't that amazing Well, that's it for the video, guys. Gonna call it a day. Hopefully you enjoyed the show and hopefully you learned a thing or two about hatching your own chicks. It's pretty fun, it's pretty interesting. Science is amazing, nature is amazing. I'm so happy that I got into this. I'm stoked. Anyways, really appreciate you watching, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe and push that like if you like the video. And we'll see you on the next episode, okay? Appreciate it, thanks. Take care.